Hey, what's going on guys? I uh, just want to do a quick video of the unboxing of these new trucks that I got. Adventure Force from Walmart. Um, so this is my G.I. Joe tow truck. Uh, this is before I paint it or customize it. You know, that might take a little while, but uh, I just wanted to go over a few things. I really like the truck, especially the price. Uh, but the main problem I found, and I want to let you all know if you do decide to get this truck, so you're not like, oh, he said it works with all your 3 and 3 fours and Marauders. Well, it will after you modify it. I mean, the scale's right, but um, the guys can't fit inside the vehicle of these three trucks. The three trucks I showed you in the video before. It's uh, this one, that one, and that one. I mean, I didn't have any action figures in my pocket when I went to the store and I bought it but it's the right scale it's the same company you know I showed you this one these guys definitely fit inside their vehicles um, these vehicles didn't come with action figures because that's I guess that's why it's because of the way they molded the seat but I'm pretty sure that could be remedied you know once I take this apart I'm going to cut this seat out and they're and I'm going to cut back into the cab and move the seat back so I can uh, glue the seats back in so these action figures can fit inside the vehicle. So, you know, that'll be a project in itself. But still, I mean, it looks cool just if you had them standing here in a diorama, um, just like I do here. This is a uh, Marauders figure, and this truck came from Tractor Supply. They have their own line of... Uh, trucks and cars and stuff like that even some four-wheelers which are pretty cool and I'll, I'll do them in a different video but I just want to show you this little diorama you know basically the Marauders guy broke down his pickup truck you know out hunting or something and uh, here comes the rescue pickup truck to come uh, pull him out in the mud there's lifeline that's his second job you know besides saving people's lives he's uh, doing tow truck recovery on the side I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to go over some of the uh, features of this tow truck, and uh, you all let me know what you think. Alright, later. Hold on. Actually, hold on. Alright, I'm back. So i got to do a little, like, reaching over the camera here. It's going to be awkward for me, but you guys get a nice view at least. Um, so like I said already, the door opens and closes, the same on the other side, the seat's in the way. You have a smokestack here. You have the two buttons. Um, there is this crane on the back, and uh, you're supposed to pull this handle, and it kind of it locks into a few different positions, which is pretty cool. You can just pull it like I'm doing or use the handle. I might cut off that handle since you can just do that, but I'm glad it locks. And it's a shame that this crane doesn't extend out. Maybe I'll modify it. And this ratchets, as you can see into different locking positions but uh, the problem with this hook is that it's a little too close to this so when I put it under a vehicle it, it wants to slip off or it won't so you know I'm gonna try and get one where you can I don't know maybe I'll even shave it down so it's it's a little shorter so it'll hook on to things better um, here is the rear wheel lift or front of the vehicle this lifts all the way up so you can put the crane down like that show you again so you can see it better um, same thing really wish that this would extend out too that's those features and then the red buttons on the side each one does a different thing so here's a front view of the truck which looks pretty cool and menacing and That's the first button, so you get engine and flashing lights at the top. And what's really neat with the second button is that the headlights flash, the top lights flash, and then it sounds like the crane in the back is actually working. So I do like that feature. Um, I might paint these buttons a different color so they blend into whatever my final color is of the vehicle. But... I believe, like I said, this was like $12. For $12, you can't beat this. Oh, and the second thing that's pretty cool about this 
is that it has actual uh, rubber tires. Um, they're real thin on these rims, but they're they're rubber tires, and it it really sticks to this table well. Um, you have a button on here, so you can turn the lights and sounds features off. It looks like a battery tray there. I'm not sure what type of batteries are in there. Uh, 1.5 volt, two, so two AA batteries, which is uh, pretty convenient, you know. It's not some crazy, like, C battery, which no one has in their house. Um, so, like I said, they're double A's. Let's look at the other side real quick, because people might be like, oh, I'm going to see the passenger side. Uh, see, the door does open, so you do have a seat for a passenger. There's even, like, a little console in there and stuff that you can see. So, pretty nice mold. Uh, I'm actually even thinking about cutting the cutting the hood so you can open the hood. I doubt there's a sculpted motor underneath, but you know, if I came across one in another vehicle that is a junker, I can maybe put it in there. I like this bumper, so you know, if I make that chrome, that would look pretty cool. All right, well, that's going to be about it for this uh, truck. Let me show you real quick the back of the box. So this is the, it's just called utility utility vehicle. Like I said, it's from Avenger Force. It shows uh, the crane. Pretty cool. I like it. So uh, y'all take it easy. Comment, like, subscribe. Imagination is the limit. Later.